Hello everyone. Next, we'll learn how to draw DAC curve in the digital ultrasonic detector. It should be said that the basic principle for different types of ultrasonic testing instrument to draw DAC curves is exactly the same. The advantages of digital ultrasonic testing instrument are mainly reflected in that they have common storage and data processing and can replace some manual calculations. For example, when the digital ultrasonic detector is used for testing, it can automatically record the probe parameters such as the K value of the angle probe. It can automatically trace points and connect them to generate DAC curves and can also automatically display the distance information, echo amplitude, and other information of the reflector. Let's take HS610 ultrasonic detector as an example to explain how to draw DAC curve. First, measure the baseline linearity and angle probe K value on the CSK-IA test block. Connect the oblique probe to the instrument, press the parameter key to enter the parameter list. Press the up and down key to move the cursor to the probe type column and press the enter key to change the probe type to oblique probe. Press the parameter key to return to the flow detection interface. Press the auto calibration key to enter the automatic calibration function. At this time, the word auto calibration is displayed on the upper right corner of the echo display area. The method for entering the incident point test is as follows. Put the probe on the CSK-IA test block, move it back and forth in parallel, find out the waveform display, press the peak memory key, and then press the automatic auto gain key to increase the waveform to 80%, look for 50 mm, 100 mm, and two maximum reflected waves. Repeat the above until the maximum reflected wave is determined. At this time, see if the 50 mm waves is more than 20% on the screen. If it is lower than that, the probe can be horizontally moved to the 50 mm face in parallel until the 50 mm wave is displayed on the screen and the probe is fixed. After pressing the OK button for the few seconds, the screen will prompt calibration is completed. After that, the probe is still fixed by hand and the instrument prompts, please use a steel ruler to measure the front edge. Use a steel ruler to measure the distance x from the front end of the probes to the R100 end of the CSK-IA test block, and then use 100 hyphen x to get the value of the front edge of the probe, enter the leading edge value and press the OK key. Next, let's look at the K value test. Place the probe above the phi is equal to 50 millimeters 
hole of the CSK-IA task block and find the reflective wave of the hole to be measured, cover the reflected wave of the hole with the gate and press the peak memory key, wave peak memory to move the probe back and forth to find out the highest reflected wave of the hole. At this time, if the echo is higher than the full screen or lower than 20%, you can press the Auto Gain button to increase or attenuate the wave to 80% and repeat the above operations until the highest reflected waves is found. Click the OK button and the actual measured K value will appear at the bottom of the screen. At this time, the actual key value tested is automatically stored in the key value column of the channel parameter and the key value is automatically tested. Now that the preparation for drawing the DAC curve is completed, it is time to formally draw the DAC curve. Press the curve key Select Make Function Menu and a prompt message will pop up. Please lock the test point with the gate. After the information disappears, the fabrication changes to gate displacement and the gate displacement position is displayed reversely. At the same time, the test point one flashes on the top of the screen. At this time, put the probe on the IIA test block and look for the echo of the hole to be tested. For example, to measure the hole with a depth of 10 millimeters, find its waveform display on the screen first. Use the up and down keys to move the gate to cover the echo and press the Auto Gain key to adjust the multiplate of the echo to about 80%. Then press the Cress Memory key to lock the maximum echo in the gate. When the number behind the test point is fixed and does not flash, it means that the echo has been locked. Finally, press the Enter key to complete the test of this point. At this time, the sequence number after the displayed test point automatically extended backward and flashes, indicating that the next test point is being sampled. Follow the steps above to lock the next test point. 20 mm, 30 mm, 40 millimeters. The instrument can make at least two points and a maximum of 10 points. After taking the points, press the OK button twice to confirm and a reference line will appear on the screen. At this point, the DAC is completed. Next, press the parameter key and input the transmit amount and service compensation value of evaluation line, quantitative line, and discarded line in it. Well, that's all for DAC curve drawing. Thank you for watching.